Okay, I'm going to do one of mine. I don't know if this is in the spirit of things, but uh, I'm going to do it anyway. This one is called Fitzroy's Moral Collapse. Alle Kunst ist umsund, wenn der Engel auf dem Sundloch brunst. All technology is in vain if the angel urinates on your musket. Austrian folk poem. It is stifled during that first marinating of the Congo that a humongous black man encroached all in fur lurks in the ochres for white women, in vapid trails of Fortnum ectoplastic whereupon he wouldst rush to gripe upon their bared bones in transports of shuddering and lissom delight. For such Christian middens whose vapours always uppermost and inveigled and evened and unto the lateness of the Ireland, such fettled behoof is as those sauvages squint in holy trees of trinity affront the passages of high English women, upon whom to inrush with many urges Eek now it is spake in such North Americanas, where chest-headed men still lilt and loll in the front woods of Vermouth and Moorish Californ, in long quack grasses, as shy big birds parley wildly for the extrusion of bonneted females from their wagons below. Whence errant jungly wildness of this order saw also Darwin observe in his fritter such a general finching of life and aquatic arrow tortoise during his enchanting of the Galapagos as would give him cause to flutter and take heart in the guise of a vast bird. He would stoop into Fitzroy's cabin there to demand more pumpkins be allocated to some dying damned lizards on the foredeck, where it is recorded that he would prefer to perform his morning dance of the Galapagian Finch Father. Fitzroy's reply is from scripture, and to the affect that such lazardice has now no place in the lives of elder men whose wives yet abide in their flossing bosoms of yeaster tide. This in its askance is his moral collapse.